What's going on you all? It is your boy Dom Camp and welcome back to another soccer podcast. We are back here with an article today about Manchester United targeting Barca goalkeeper to replace David De Gea. Now, this is going to be interesting because David De Gea, his contract does end in the uh, next year. So in 2020, his contract will end and I think that Whoever wants to sign him on a pre-contract can sign him on a pre-contract due to the fact that they do not have a deal with the Spanish goalkeeper. But let's read this article and I will give you all my, uh, my opinion on the matter. With David De Gea's Manchester United future up in the air, the club have reportedly begun to look for potential replacements should the Spanish shot stopper opt to leave Old Trafford this summer. De Gea's contract is due to expire in the summer of 2020 and there, is, there currently appears to be no sign of a renewal in sight. That means United may be forced to cash in on the 28-year-old this summer rather than risk losing him for nothing in 12 months' time. And if De Gea does leave, the daily record claim United have earmarked Barcelona's Jasper... Oh gosh, oh, how do you say this last name? Hillison as a possible replacement. Sillison is behind Mark andre Ter Stegen in the camp now, pecking order, and the Dutchman have, has reportedly grown frustrated at his lack of opportunities and is considering his options. Barca apparently value the man they signed from Ajax in 2016 at approximately $25 million, and he has also been linked with Lin Benfica and Juventus in the recent days. And if the 30-year-old does leave, the Spanish champions have been linked with Ajax's Andre Onana, Venezuelan starlet Wooker uh, Harnes and now Montpellier's and Benjamin Lecomte to replace him. So many crazy names. I'm sorry, you are, but that is just how it ends up turning out. Um, yeah. So it's one of those things. If if you're going if you're going to get value out of David de Gea, yeah, you you want to cash in this season because next season he can go for free kind of like how Ander Herrera left Manchester and going to PSG so it's just one of those things that we'll have to find out I'm not really excited about this mainly because he here if you think about David De Gea he is a top class goalkeeper the problem is he's just frustrated with the club and management and things of that sort and it's like if Manchester have to sell him, yeah, sell him this season, get as much as you can for his value, and then, of course, uh, try to cash in in a way to rebuild any sort of style of team. I don't want him to go, uh, mainly because you can't really find a suitable replacement for him, especially since all of these big keepers are locked into big contracts, but... We'll just have to see. So I'm not very keen on it, but if it happens, it happens. Yeah. So um, thank you. All. Excuse me. Thank you all so much for listening to this uh, podcast. If you all have any uh, qu- questions on the fact of the matter or your opinion, let me know in the comment section down below. Other than that, that is it. Thank you so much for listening. Like and subscribe, and have a good one. <laughs>